guys, it's Sammy. Welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to be trying out three lippies from an Influencer and L'Oreal collaboration for L'Oreal's new product that they launched. It's the new Rouge Signature Matte Colored Ink Lippies that they sent and I got. And I have three shades out of a total of 12. Now, it promises that it has an ultra lightweight feel for bare lip sensation. It has vibrant dyes and high pigment. It has a lasting matte finish that's ultra comfortable, which I will see if that is true because my lips are dry AF and so wearing matte lippies for me is very uncomfortable. I love the look but I hate the feel so we shall see if it lives up to what they're saying here. And last but not least, it says that it is designed with a precision applicator to shape and line your lips for a precise and perfectly applied lip every time. And I like that there's a picture of the applicator so I don't necessarily have to show you it but that's what it looks like. It's like a little petal. What else does it say? Okay, so here's the description. I did not read this last time, so here we go. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, I did an unboxing of three packages I received in the mail, and so if you haven't seen that video, go check it out and tell me what product you're looking most forward to for me to try out. Here we go. Let me read this description. It says that sign your lips with bare lip sensation. L'Oreal Paris Rouge Signature, an innovative matte colored ink that delivers the weightless feel of a stain combined with the high color impact of a liquid lipstick. This ultra comfortable non-drying matte colored ink infuses lips with a healthy even dye of color that leaves a beautiful even stain on the lips throughout wear. Now lucky for you guys and lucky for me not so much oh man it's like cracking right here but I did exfoliate my lips heavily last night and I did earlier go get my upper lip waxed so it does not look like a hairy mess and when I say hairy mess it, it wasn't like peach fuzz it's like I let it grow out. All right, these are the three shades that they sent me. This top one looks more like a flesh tone colored and it is in shade 416 I Create. This middle one, your bold red that everyone loves. It's very, it looks right now in the tube, it looks very cool toned red. This is shade number 426, I Am Worth It. And then the last one is like a nude mauve color and it's in number 414 I Rule. Starting off with the lightest, this is 416 I Create. And let's talk about this packaging first before we move on, so let me twist that close. I really do like this right here. It just gives it a fancy feel, especially with this matte frosted tubing. It just, it looks really nice and kind of luxe. And the fact that you're paying drugstore price for it is just like bonkers. Let's go ahead and open her up. So here's the shape of the applicator, petal shaped. It's it's also curved. Do you see that? Nice. So it's got that the doe foot look where it's curved at the bottom. I'm gonna go ahead and should I swatch it? Do you guys want a skin swatch? I'll do a skin swatch so that you can see it. There's the first one. That's very cooling actually. And it's you can see that there there's a little bit of my skin peeking through at the moment. So I don't know if that's a testament to how pigmented it is, but it did say it's more like a lip stain but with that matte lippy look. So I can see how that'll work as a lip stain. Hopefully it's comfortable. I'm going to go ahead and prime my lips first with this Jersey Shore Cosmetics Juicy Strawberry Moisture Rich Hydrating Balm that I got in an Ipsy bag. I just picked it up from over there because it was the first lip balm that I saw that wouldn't completely dry my lips. Also, it smells good. I really should be trying them on without lip balm, but my lips are so dry right now that I feel like it would be very uncomfortable. And something is stinging. I think something is cracked. <laughs> okay, that went on smoothly. I really do wish now that I had tried it on without the lip balm to see if it's really patchy without it. But like right there, it doesn't look like that too much. Let me go ahead and come in closer. That in, I can get closer to the mirror. So I went over a little bit, but I have to say this is like my lips but better. Maybe a bit. It's a bit lighter It's like the, the shade my lips are after I exfoliate. Let's put it that way. It looks good I guess it's because of the lip balm that it looks glossy But let's go ahead and look at my hand to see how it looks. It's still got that glossy sheen So I guess that's just how it is. Let me see what happens if I rub it and shake this first. Oh no, why is it open? Oh, okay, so it smears. So I'm rubbing the area, so I did get a bit of makeup remover on my hand, but I'm rubbing the area that hasn't been touched by makeup remover, and if you see that, it's actually coming off. So this is not one that'll stay on all day. It's just 
going to have a, I guess what they meant by the matte lip look is that it's very pigmented, but it's a stain because I'm not feeling a drying effect so far. I'm gonna go ahead and take my paper towel here and wipe off this lip swatch and then do it again so that you guys have all three of them on the back of my hand. Now before I continue, I thought I would just talk about the applicator itself. I really do like this compared to a doe foot because it comes to that tip and it's really a tip. It's not a rounded tip, it's a tip. And that means for me especially, I can get into the corners of my lips easily and not have to worry about it going over the line. So that's really nice, except for in this instance there. <laughs> so I like the applicator. All right, I'm gonna shut up now. I'm just going to swatch the next two and that'll be it. Actually, I'm not gonna shut up yet. The next two, I'm going to swatch without lip balm. So I'm gonna make sure I get this off. I'm gonna take the next lightest shade, which is this mauve one. It's in shade 414, I rule. Oh, snap. Do you see how vibrant that is compared to the tube? Oh my gosh, compared to the tube, that is so vibrant. I did not expect that at all. Oh, snap. This, this, this one is not joking at all. Look at that. That is 414 eye rule. It's like the shade of my wristband. <laughs> Which I'm not modeling for Fitbit at all. I just forgot to take this off before filming. Oh, my cracked lip. It's got a very watery feeling now that I'm feeling it on my bare lips. But it just, it has a nice glossy look, very comfortable. It's pigmented, it's very tint, tint uh, texture. Wise. a water tint in my uh, in my opinion water a powdery water tint I, I put it that way <laughs> it's 414 I feel like it left a little bit of a tint after I took it off with the makeup remover so I'm gonna make sure I get that all off I'm actually gonna go back and try the first one again the 416 I create to see what it looks like on my bare lips before I try the super red one that I'm, I have a feeling will leave a really red tint yeah that one is cracked <laughs> and whatever pigment I put on it's like sinking in there still looks like my lips but better a shade lighter I create, I create what? I'm creating this video for you guys. So that one doesn't really leave much of a tint on my lips. Now the star of the show is this one, this vibrant red, which I, I, I can see it's coming up kind of orange red on the screen, but in person it's this cool toned red. Now, let me open this up and see what it looks like. Yeah, very cool toned red. It's got a blue tint to it. That has to be the most pigmented one of all. and. I'm noticing that there's a streak in the middle of all three of these swatches and I think that's just because of how the applicator is made. Oh my gosh, that is pretty. Here is 426, I am worth it. That is such a power color right there. <sighs> okay, that one, like I said, it's more pigmented compared to the other two. Also, I'm noticing that this applicator, it hugs my lips right, like it's the perfect size for me. I'm thoroughly impressed with this red. The thing is with this red, it's more pronounced. So if I don't put it on my lips properly, it won't look good. Well, that is that for the lip swatches. Tomorrow I have an event, so the next clip you'll see me is 
me putting the lippy on prior to going to the event to see how long this will wear. And I'm still trying to figure out if I'm gonna use the red or the mauve color. I feel like the red one would be the way to go because you can actually see it. <sighs> well, I still have you guys for this clip. Um, it's drying down right now and I wonder how dry it'll get. But it's it's got this powdery feeling to it, but it's still a little glossy feeling too. It's like, I don't know, I, I feel like that's the best way to describe it. And then looking at the back of my hand right here, if you can see, ignore the red, but look at the other two. They're kind of matte, but they also still have their sheen. And so I feel like it'll still have a bit of a, a highlighted look. So it looks like a cross between a gloss and a matte lip, but more so towards the matte lip. And it has a powdery feeling, kind of like the um, the NYX powder puffs. It's kind of like that, it reminds me of that. And yeah, all right, next clip. <laughs>